Hey Tuck followers, Keith here. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Propel mattress. Now this is Brooklyn Bedding's hybrid mattress geared towards athletes or those with an active lifestyle. There's a special material in the cover that's meant to help recovery and blood flow, but is it the right mattress for you? Keep watching to find out. Our mattress testing team today includes lightweight sleeper Sid, average weight sleeper Athena, and heavyweight sleeper Alandris. To unbox the Propel mattress, grab a friend and move the box to its final destination. Remove the roll packed mattress from the box and open up the plastic. Give it about 12 to 24 hours to fully recover. The Propel is an 11 and a half inch hybrid mattress. The cover is made from a mix of upcycle performance fabric and Titan Cool, which has a phase change material in the top layer. The comfort layers consist of one and a half inches of copper infused polyfoam, over two inches of Energex foam, over one inch of gel viscoelastic memory foam. The support core consists of six inches of pocketed coils atop a one inch high density foam base. The Propel comes in at about a five and a half on the firmness scale, making it a medium mattress. This mattress has a conforming yet responsive feel to it. You will sink into the foams, but they're quick responsive, so they bounce back and the coils really hold you up. So it's a mix between sleeping in and on a bed. You won't get that stuck feeling that traditional memory foam beds are known for. To gauge support, we look at the spinal alignment of each of our sleepers when sleeping on their side. As you can see, all three of our sleepers received adequate support from the Propel, but our light and average weight sleepers received a bit more. To illustrate motion isolation, we put a water glass on one side of the bed and have a landris move around the opposite side. As you can see, the Propel does a decent job absorbing motion. As a landris moves from side to side and pushes around the bed, that water glass barely moves. Next, we'll take a look at edge support. This refers to how much a mattress holds a sleeper up when sitting on and sleeping close to the edge of the bed. As you can see, all three of our sleepers did experience significant sinkage when sitting on the edge of the bed, but the mattress fared much better when weight was distributed and sleepers lay close to the edge. None of our testers reported any fear of roll off. Using our 2D and 3D pressure mapping tools, we're able to tell how much pressure the Propel can relieve from a sleeper. Taking a look at the readings, you'll see that there was some pressure on the shoulders and hips of Alandris and Athena when sleeping on their side, and some peaking when Sid was sleeping on his side. Sid's peaking can be attributed to a sharp frame and not the performance of the mattress. Taking a look at temperature neutrality, this is a key feature of the Propel mattress. Brooklyn Bedding designed this with a hot sleeper in mind. So between the phase change material and the upcycle used in the cover and the quick response foams and the coils in the support core, sleepers should stay temperature neutral throughout the night. Now, let's check in with our sleepers. So Sid, what do you think of the Propel mattress? I think it's fairly good. Uh, for my body weight, I think uh, it offers just enough support. I didn't feel support on you know, my shoulders, my hips, my lower back. The Propel was not a good fit for me. It is a really comfortable bed. Now, if you had to choose side, back, or stomach, which position would you sleep in on this bed? Most likely stomach. I'm not a big stomach sleeper, but this mattress, I think, adjusts really well when I'm sleeping on my stomach. Just the right level of firmness. I would say that the side was the most comfortable. If I had to choose, it would be stomach. What about motion isolation? Did it perform well? It or? did not. It almost <laughs> tilted over and I almost took a bath. <laughs> <laughs> 
Talk to me about temperature neutrality. Did you feel like the bed heated up at night when you slept on it, or did it stay fairly temperature neutral? No, it stayed neutral and cool, actually. That's what I really liked about it. That's a selling asset of it is to be cool. I felt it was fairly temperature neutral. It was not too warm, didn't get cold or anything. It did seem to run a little cool temperature-wise, and I sleep hot, so that was an asset. Got it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Now, let's take a look at how the Propel fared in our mattress tests. This bed has a hybrid feel, so it's a conforming yet responsive mattress. Support was very good for light and average weight sleepers and good for heavyweight sleepers. Motion isolation was good, while edge support was very good. Pressure relief was very good for all three sleeper weights. Lastly, temperature neutrality was very good. Here are a few takeaways based on our mattress testing. The Propel comes in one firmness, and it's about a medium on the firmness scale. We put it about a five, five and a half. So if you know you want a firmer or a softer bed, this won't be the best choice for you. Heavier weight sleepers might not find the support they need with a mattress of this firmness and this build. The Propel features upcycle technology, so this layer in the cover supposedly increases blood flow and is helpful for those athletes and folks who live a more active lifestyle, but we really can't confirm that it does or does not do this. Here are a few recommendations based on our mattress testing. Hot sleepers will appreciate the construction of the bed. The hybrid build and then the premium foams used along with some of the technology in the cover will allow sleepers to sleep temperature neutral. Light and average weight sleepers will find the support they need with the Propel mattress. Sleepers who like a hybrid bed but are on a little bit more of a budget will find that this is a great value, especially given the high quality materials used to construct this mattress. If the upcycle technology in the fabric does work as stated, it's just another feather in the cap and makes this a much better value. Here's some additional information you'll want to know before purchasing the Propel mattress. It comes with a 120 night sleep trial, ships free, and comes with a 10 year warranty. For up to date pricing and exclusive discounts for Tuck followers, check the description below the video or visit the full written review at tuck.com. That's it for our Propel mattress review. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you found this helpful. For the full written review, check out tuck.com. If you have any questions about the mattress or want a personalized recommendation, drop a comment below the video and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Don't forget to check us out on social. We're always doing great giveaways and we'll keep you up to date on the latest in sleep news. Sleep well.